You Eureka. Why are you taking your camera to the one o'clock club? It's a bank holiday outing. Our annual mystery tour. Come along. We're visiting a smashing place. I thought it was a mystery tour. Oh, it was. But the last time, Ethel Caradus had a stroke. Doesn't pay to surprise people on the wrong side of 80. So where are you going anyway? One of the biggest open spaces in Manchester. There's history, poetry and a sprinkling of celebrities. Sounds nice. Where is it? Are you coming? Well, I suppose I've nothing else on. You won't regret it. It's a guided tour of Southern Cemetery. Who needs Disneyland, eh? Though I can't help wondering if it's worth some of the older girls getting back on the coach. Do you fancy it? Uh, no, no, I've uh, got to pick out some books I reserved and they won't hold on to them any longer. Oh, well, come on then, love. We don't want to miss the Sharabang. Bye. Are you OK? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, just a bit tired, that's all. Anyway, goodbye, love, and I uh, hope you have a nice afternoon. I am coming back, you know. I'll see you at tea time. Mini Kiev's all right. Come on, then. You sure there's going to be room for me? Oh! So no real change, then? Uh, when's visiting hours? OK, yeah. Cheers, bye. What's he playing at? He's ill. Oh, sick's a better word. He's no concern of ours anymore. Ma'am, he's still your dad. Oh, just a detail on my birth certificate, that's all. And if I could change that, I would. Look, I hate what he's done as much as oh, you, but I'm... it sounds like I mean, you don't see me rushing off to his bedside with a bunch of grapes, no matter how bad they say he is. He's stable. Ma'am, he's got nobody else. Mm. Whose fault is that, eh? He's made his bed. Yeah, well, this might be his deathbed. You'll regret this for the rest of your life yeah. you never see him again. Do you know what? My conscience is clear. She's a downside more than can be said for his. <sighs> Sorry about him, love's in eye in his neck a wildebeest with more grace. No, 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 I, I'm glad he's enjoying it. 20 years I've watched that from across the breakfast table. I feel like David Attenborough some mornings. You handle that spatula with some aplomb. Is that good? Oh, yes, yes, yes. In fact, I, I'm very impressed all round. Uh, you could have a long-term future behind this counter. Oh, really, Rye? You have a natural warmth and rapport with the customers. And it shows that top up. I'll be smeeing the vinegar in a minute. Oh, shut it, you. One more word, I'll be topping up your wide fronts. Sorry, Rye. You were saying. Uh, it doesn't matter, but if you were to take on a more permanent position, you would need to do runs to the cash and carry price co on Aversmith Road. I know it. Yeah. Well, you would need my password and customer number. Mm -hmm. Password is um, Puffin Bill. Always got a fag on the go, I say. Who? Billy, this mate of yours. No, no, it, it is a steam locomotive. Thomas the Tank Engine. Not exactly, no, no. It, it, it was, in fact, the, the first commercial steam adhesion vehicle. But, but more about that another time. The, the customer number. 7354. Oh, oh, I have to write it down. I'm hopeless with figures, mate. I mean, I remember the Chuffing Willie bit easy enough. Puffing, but... puffing Billy. Oh, right. Mm. Best jot that down and all in. Oh, yeah. And the... Number? Uh, 7354. 7354. 2553. Gotcha. I'm sorry, Mary, but look, we've been overtaken by events. Uh, well, well, yes, yes, of course I still want to go. It's just that I'm needed here. Well, I, I, I just don't know. Look, look, I'm going to have to go now because there's a customer waiting. Bye. You shouldn't have changed your plans because of me, Norris. No, oh, there's no hurry. The wonderful world of the fold-down bed and stand-up wash will still be there next month. Now, look, why don't uh, I finish the order and why don't you go and have a little lie down? Because I might never get up again. I can't hide away, Norris. Need to get on with things. Hello, Jason. 
You all right? I've had better weeks, but I'm still here. I'm sorry about my granddad. Hardly your fault. Or your mother's. Do tell her I said that. I will, yeah. If she's any idea. Ah, uh, Colin took us all in. Yeah, well, I think he's paid for it, eh? How do you mean? He had a stroke last night. He's in hospital. How is he? Out of the danger, they reckon. I'm glad to hear it. You know, half of me wants to go and see him in hospital, and the other half... I just don't know how I feel. And I'll tell you, ill or not, that man is a thorough degenerate and the well, sooner not he does... dies. You reckon he deserves a death sentence? I'll tell you what, he doesn't deserve sympathy and he'll get none from me. Yeah, he's not asked for it either. Neither have I. Look, take a get well card on us. We've plenty to spare. No, sir. I just came in to let you know the score. Everyone says my long-lost dad's a monster. So let's get my head round. I know it can't be easy. <sighs> Maybe it's too easy. I don't follow. But what if things aren't so black and white? What if they're more complicated? <laughs> Could it get more complicated? Well, it was wrong, but, but even my mother said it, it wasn't abuse. He never forced her into anything. She was 14. Well, when I was 14, I... I knew the score. I knew how to play the lads. Yeah, of your own age. How much easier then? A middle-aged man in a bad marriage, flattered by a pretty girl who looked older than she was. He knew perfectly well how old she was. Well, maybe my mother did all the running. Seduced him. I know it's no excuse, but... Julie, it's no excuse. End of. No, no, it's not end of, Fizz. I'm not writing off my father for a word, a label. I need to hear both sides of the story. <laughs> this one bank holiday, me and Maria stayed at home. In bed, like, you know. Jack and Vera was away, but we heard this noise downstairs. Hang on a minute, Matt. You and Maria? Yeah, me and Maria. As in you and Maria? Me and Maria, yes. All right. So she know, one bank holiday, me and Ali Berry went down home base to get some creosote that she had. She likes it tidy. Well, so, hang on a minute. Me and Maria was at it like... Well, we was engaged. Yeah. Ask anyone. Anyone round here. Alright. Not her, uh, don't, don't ask her. Alright, love. Can I do you for? Uh, no, I was just bored. Where's Kevin? Day off today. And you're working again. Right, well, if he's not grafting here, he can come and work up a sweat with me. Really? I mean, I've heard of these open marriages, but I never thought. <laughs> We're running together. Idiot. We're training for a race. Kevin Webster in shorts. Oh, I know, yeah. I call him the 118 guy. I reckon he should grow his tap out. What's she doing here again? Why can't she just leave Jack alone? Because he doesn't want to be left alone. Can't you see? Kara's only been dead five minutes. Jack don't want out like that. Just let him be the judge of that. Where are you going? Well, I think Kev's going to be too happy. Well, you just... entitled to a nose. You're meant to be partners. Though, judging by the amount of bank holidays you work... It's only half a day. And you better be on double time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, what are you up to? Oh, we're uh, just going down the red wreck. I'm going to show him what Man United missed out on, aren't I? Eh? So... You fancy it? No, thanks. My footballing days are over. Well, I don't remember I'm starting. Let's face it, you were no Busby babe, were you? The one time your granddad took me on the park to play football, do you know what he did? He smashed the window on the <laughs> ice cream van. <laughs> <laughs> don't remind me. Always had better things to do after that, didn't you? Yeah, and I regret it. You always think there's another afternoon. Today's another afternoon, but better things to do, I expect. Not better, just more urgent. Anyway, I'm glad you're not making my mistakes. No need. You're still more than capable of making your own. Come to the park, Granddad. You can riff for us. I'm sorry, sir. I really can't. You go easy on your dad, eh? You've got to look after him. Right. Come on, then. Jump down. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Bye, son. Right, come on, here we go. And it's Tony Curry. 
Throw to Bobby Charles and who's with him all the way. I'm with you. With you. Yeah. I make it one mega mixed grill and six top ups. I think you'll find it was a mini breakfast on one top. 320 by my reckoning. 850. Plus tip. You want a tip? Next time, don't cremate the bacon. I didn't know either to eat it or send flowers. I was hoping to find you here. I was pegging out my washing. Couldn't help but notice your garden. It comes to living next door, that. I see your garden all the time. I look out the window, there it is. I'm surprised you can see anything then through your grass. I can't garden with my disability. Besides, the smell of cut grass brings me out in hives. First nice day of spring, I'm like corn on the cob. I've asked our Gary to take it in hand, but I'm not holding my breath. Any road, Gail? I must get on. Ah, uh, me and all. Ah, yes. what can I get for you? The usual staff discount will apply. I'm afraid not, Roy. I've got some bad news. Oh? I'm sorry, but uh, I've decided to resign. I hope I'm not leaving you in the lurch. I assume you'll be able to fill my shoes easily enough. And I can take your shifts, but I enjoy our chats immensely. Pricking sausages seem somehow less arduous when debating the great issues of the day. You will be missed, Ken. <laughs> and I'll miss working here. It's been a genuine pleasure. So long as I've done nothing to offend you at all. Oh, no, 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 no. It's simply uh, time for a change. And, well, life rolls on, Roy, and that's how we progress. Well, perhaps. Uh, I've always believed it, if it isn't broken, etc. Progress and mere novelty are too often confused. Often, at once, peril. <laughs> I know it was wrong, but was it all down to him? I mean, did, did he go looking for it? Mother, mother! Oh, oh, she's hung up. You were coming on a bit strong. I have no choice. But it must have been hard for her, dragging all this up. She needs time to adjust. Hey, but once she has, I'm sure she'll answer all your questions. No, no, she wants to slam the lid down on it again, and it won't do. Knowing what happened is not enough. I need to know the hows and the whys. Do you? I've dreamt about finding my father for so long. Now I have. I'm not going to turn my back on him, not until I know he deserves it. There's been a guardian going to the Barlows ever since I can remember. I expect originally it was the Manchester Guardian. Uh, not quite, no. The paper abandoned Manchester around about the time I went up to university. I was hoping to do much the same thing once I graduated. So, so why are you cancelling now? Well, I uh, need to stay active. No reason I can't collect it myself. What about your new statesman? Oh, odd that. We don't get much call for that except for you. Oh, I better get a chance to read it now with the grandchildren around. I'll uh, cancel, I think. I'm sorry to hear how things turned out with Colin. Not as sorry as I am. Still, my own fault. Chasing fantasies at my age. Romances for youngsters, not daft old women. Yeah, no such thing. And age doesn't lessen your entitlement to happiness. Far from it. You followed your heart, and it could have led you somewhere wonderful. Still could. It says he, from the comfort of a happy marriage. No, Rita's right. Risks are for the young. We bruise too easily at our time of life. Well... I was just about to thank Ken for cheering me up. You soon put the mockers on that. Oh, well, I'll be off now anyway. Bye, both. Bye. But I was agreeing with you, Rita. Sometimes a woman doesn't want agreeing with. Well, how do I know? I'm a news agent, not, not a, a mind, mind reader. reader. There you are. I loved helping my dad with his loft. It were heartbroken when a doodle bug did for it. Poor birds, they were blown to smithereens. You couldn't begin to imagine the mess. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mind you, your father taught you well, you know, cos it is easy to distress a pigeon when he's not tired. <laughs> you will be polite, she's a guest. Oh, I never invited her. Oh, I certainly know what you're doing, all right. 
just the right amount of pressure between your fingers. A firm grip, but not too much. What's going on? Do you know, I, I could ask you the same. What was you talking about? Pigeons. I was just telling Connie she knows how to handle a bird. Which is more than can be said for my husband. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, love. <laughs> Comfy there, are you? Yeah, yeah, it's a nice chair. Vera always thought so. I'm just um, making some lunch. It's only a bit of chicken, but there's plenty if you want to stay, Connie. Oh, thank you, love. So, uh, how is Scarlet? Well, come and see for yourself. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you again. She'll be the only one. Will you give over? We shouldn't be encouraging her. Why not? She's perfectly nice. She's making Jack happy. What's your problem? Oh dear. Yeah, you know, I bet that that's the last hot pot. Well, I'm not sure. You'll have to ask. <laughs> I did consider reheating the remnants of Norris's stargazy pie, but it wasn't his best effort. Even the pilchards were too embarrassed to look me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there any more hot pot? Ah, check my Betty love. Thank you. The Rovers has often saved me from Norris's leftovers. It's not an elaborate menu, but what they do, they've always done well. Yeah, can you remember Annie Walker trying to introduce the cheese board? Oh, she did keep trying. <laughs> she saw this place as the Weatherfield branch of the Savoy. Oh, only grander. She was never happier than when she played Elizabeth I on Jubilee Day. Mrs. Walker, she wasn't playing anyone. She was Elizabeth I that day. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And she said to my Uncle Albert, you can't rehearse Majesty, Mr. Tatlock. I think you've got it or you haven't. She had it in space, <laughs> no, did I? <laughs> there you are, Doc. Um, oh, can I get you a drink, you. Emily? Oh, small cherry, thank you. Oh, good. The usual? Uh, no. No, oh. Not for me, thanks. Right. Uh, I've got to go on this way. Oh, no. I want his sofa. Oh, thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye, Doc. Bye-bye. Bye. You know, Emily, you're very lucky. That's the last of the hot dogs. I didn't think it would eat that, I guess. Took in and enjoyed it. I can. Prepare to die, Monsieur. On guard. <clears throat> right. How long have you been there? Long enough. And if you're so keen to cut something down to size, you can start with the Windass's garden. Right. Eh? I say garden. Jungle would be a better word, and that suit Eddie. It looks a bit like an orangutan. Anyway, I want it sorting. And you're telling me this because. Jerry's the landlord. His house, his garden, his responsibility. And seeing as he's not here, it's yours. Come on, Gail. If you don't do it, I'll hire a professional and send you the bill. Have you got a mower I can lend? Absolutely. Right. I brought you a butter. Oh. Uh. You'll have to cough up for this as well. Treat. Landed on my feet in that cafe, I reckon. It might be a couple of rashes short of a full English, but Roy's very fair. And he knows a grafter when he sees one. Why? Oh, I reckon if I play my cards right, I could have a job for life in there. And if... What are you doing? Uh, you skinned me earlier. I'd not left for me float. I've just took 20 quid. I didn't come here to be robbed. Get your own bloody dinner. If you insist, my love. If you insist.
Lloyd, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to go. I've got someone waiting. Do you mind if I come through? Be my guest. It's about your... our dad. Yeah, I thought it might be. I can't tell you anything beyond no, what's... I just want to know the truth. I know you weren't aware at the time, but what do you think happened? Do you think my mother could have led him on? You want to talk about the past? Well, if Colin wasn't entirely oh, look, to blame... stop him. right there. I've been down that road and you're wasting your time. Never mind insulting your mother. Well, well that's not my intention. Yeah, well, it's inevitable if you try and excuse him. There are no excuses. I know. I've looked for him. And that's all there is to it? There must be something more to him. Something... Look, that's everything you need to know about him. Well, not quite everything. He's, um... He's in hospital. He's had a stroke. Ah, uh, penalty competition. I'll tell you what England could do with this one next time we're in a penalty shoot. Are you going on holiday, Van Dad? Uh, no, no, I... Uh... No. He's running away to sea, aren't you, Dad? Off to sail the ocean blue with Captain Crumpet. And I thought I was the only sailor in the family. Peter, please. This is my last chance. I have to. No, you don't have to, Dad. You'll do whatever suits you. You always have. So what will he do? Find out in half an hour. <laughs>